Receiving guidance from an inner voice that she believes it was God speaking to her, Elaine started painting in 2002, and eight years down the line, she has no regrets. I was driving in my car, and I heard a voice from out of nowhere, um, and the voice said to me, you know, you could really be quite good at this. Why don't you take it more seriously? And then I realized uh, I was talking with God. Uh, basically, God told me that if I really tried, if I logged the hours, if I put in every every day several hours painting, that I could be good and be success at it. And I have been. And I mean, I, since I listened to that voice, my life has changed. I married a wonderful man. Uh, we have a wonderful daughter, and I paint every day. So it's just been great. For the time she has been painting, her greatest inspiration is nature and memories, giving each subject a character that tells a story which she brings out using colors and texture. In this most recent body of work, she explores the possibility of the sugarcane from classical nature mode to contemporary breeds of linoleum stamping. She was initially drawn to the canes for their formal properties. The sugarcane series um, came from looking at sugar canes and realizing the beauty in a very humble object. Um, it's a grass, actually, and it's so widespread here in Kenya and uh, really throughout the world. But they're beautiful. The colors are great, um, and the, the shape of the segments are very fascinating to me. One of the mistakes sometimes that I think um, beginning painters make is kind of a feeling of overworking. Um, and I think when you've overworked a, a, a work of art too, it just takes some of the life out of it. You've just like sucked all the, all the good juice, I think, out of what could have been a really pretty. Through her pieces, she brings out the cylindrical shapes and with the use of colors, the way the sun illuminates their segment forms. And further goes on to reveal spectrum of color from crimson to chartreuse and a rich ochre in the afternoon light. And finally, the cans ends when chopped into circles that swirl into spirals and reveal another mystery. Truly good food to the eyes, clearly showing that love of beauty is taste and the creation of beauty is art. There is beauty in everything. That this earth, that the world, has something beautiful in something as simple as a blade of grass or as, as sweet as a stalk of sugar cane. So I want people to take notice of that. Being in the industry for quite a long time, she bears one wish, that art be taught to children at an early age so as to tap their talent in their formative stages. I have been talking with some folks about um, uh, going into orphanages and going into primary schools and helping children develop an appreciation for art there. If you can, at an early age, see the fun in drawing and the beauty in making something nice for your wall, um, then you'll have that throughout your life. Elaine believes that if you accumulate the hours, you end up being good in art, bearing in mind that practice makes perfect. She has exhibited several times in the US, and this is her first exhibition in Nairobi.